Lewis, which I have I have the trailer on my YouTube if everybody wants to see that. Um, they're going to be different actors, I believe. I just I just approached Corey, who played Jenny Lewis, the red haired girl. I just she lived she moved up to Portland, so I just approached her to see if she would come and reprise that role. Um, but as soon as I get the actors, I plan to do that um, the end of August. It's a it's a thirteen page script that I wrote in two thousand three, which still has the it has the idea of realist real, real ugh, excuse me reality versus idealism. It's the same theme as in my my feature, um, but this one's more uh, more of a more a comedic tragedy based on the, uh, someone's ignorance of their own ideals. Um, so that's coming up. I also I'm about today. I'm about to uh, make a trailer for uh, my documentary called. It's an untitled Amy Snowden doctor documentary. It's a documentary about um, a, this comedian friend of mine and uh, and the contrast between her life in comedy and her action and her real life. So it, it, it kind of shows how difficult it is to be a comedian um, and and all the things you have to go through in order to build build your career in that way. I also um, am planning. We were supposed to do it this week, but we had to we had to reschedule. Um, Renee Santos, who's an amazing comedian, um, she wrote a sketch comedy that I'm going to be filming and, and editing for her. So hopefully that will be out within the next within the next month. So there's a, there, I have a lot of things coming on now. So you just have to keep keep your eyes open because I'll have them. I'll have like trailers and things like that up for them, and then um, and information for where you can get them and where you can see them. So, but the first one, the first one that will come out is the Amy Snowden documentary. We're going to be shooting that at the end of next week. Well, I, that's great to hear here because what it is uh, from from all the responses that I got, all the emails that I got from my girls, um, and I call them girls <laughs> very loosely, <laughs> is that um, our members and followers and admirers and whatever have asked us where can they keep abreast of. Um, everyone's you know happenings and what they're doing and whatnot or whatnot so oh yeah oh my gosh right and i know that i i know that just from doing the what she sees stuff where it's just like if i don't keep them reminded that all the stuff is going on or update this or update that then it's just like you lose them so fortunately fortunately for me uh i have a lot coming out <laughs> i have i have a whole circle of projects that will be that will be out hopefully by the end of this month um, so yeah, so keep your eyes keep your eyes open for them. <laughs> I I have a bunch of um, I have a bunch of the video projects that I'm doing as well as uh, Bianca and I are going to try to continue our photography adventures. Um, I don't know if you looked at my website, but we do we basically have an adventure um, with whoever wants to have one, and we we pick a theme for our um, pick a theme for the photography, and then just go all out. They're all completely theatrical, like except for one I, it was all in studio photography with these really uh, uh, with you, everything looks like it was a snapshot but the, it wasn't there there we had did a photo shoot with these girls that you've probably seen on my um, on my Facebook and I had six people helping me and I all I named them all um, one was hair one was elbow one was abs and one was face and they all had lights um, so I, it was kind of like it, it seems like we just kind of go out, we take some pictures, but we they're they're actually big productions as far as our photography goes. So aside from aside from uh, my own kind of video projects that I'm doing, Bianca and I are gonna continue to do those adventures as well. So you'll have a lot to a lot to work with with me. Well, <laughs> as I think the main thing is I, I'm 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 asking formally, but um, I'm guessing you will be on board, and that uh, what I'm planning on doing. Uh, it's, it's going to be more than a directory, really. It's going to be a fan stop. So, oh, um, fun. so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> that'll be fun, right? <laughs> I'm excited. Good. So that'll be yay. <laughs> that'll be cool. And that's a really good way for people to keep up, you know, with all the stuff that's going on. It just seems like uh, it, uh, when you when you have people like uh, myself or the other girls that you have signed on, it's like there's no stopping moving. There's only forward moving motion. And anytime anytime I have any kind of uh, free space, I'm just like, okay, what do I need to fill this space with? Okay, I have a short film. Let's do it now. <laughs> Who do I have? Who do I have? Let me let me go through my phone book. <laughs> Who's gonna help? Uh, yeah, definitely. That's a really good idea. 
in using that as a benefit to y'all as well because it will be a great way for you to network so if you all needed say actresses or advice or just plain hey, what's happening in New York or whatever it is um, and you just wanted to bounce off those ideas I, I, I definitely want you all to be able to do that so oh, it will yeah, not only be for our um, friends and stuff well, our friends and, 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 and members and stuff like that for their to fill their appetites but it will all also benefit y'all um not only by them because without them you, your film's not going to be seen but yeah, also yeah. cross the border so um that is something that i, I think will be a running theme oh, right so if i can yeah. get the more the more i kind of get into uh shimon serif's work the more i realize man you don't have to just do this you don't have to just do that like you can have a publishing company you can have a production company you can have do your own thing and you don't have to be pigeonholed to this one thing or another you just want it's about waking up and being happy with yourself and putting out a product that you're um that you're proud of and that you want people to see so that's the most important thing <laughs> yeah, I learned that very early on from another filmmaker that uh, was one of, one of was one of the very first filmmakers that I I became friends with. Um, um, she has a music company, film company, a photography company, and a television company. Um, and she does music. Well, of course, she does music videos. And n the thing about it is that all the companies feed her film company. And it cuts cost, and she doesn't have to go to a casting um, house, yeah. or she doesn't have to go to 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 find a crew or anything like that. She has it all in house. Yeah, that's kind of. I, I have a company called uh, CMC Exteriors, and what it is is I I, I call every all of my projects uh, Chrissy Conichel Adventures. Um, just it, I like saying that things are adventures rather than projects. Um, but my main company uh, is CMC Exteriors, and that kind of covers um, my. It covers like I, I network to artists and entertainers where I can get them up to speed with what they need as far as headshots. I can do their headshots. I can make them a website. I can make merchandise for them. So that it, with with the intention of growing with them and growing with their career and networking through them and utilizing them to help my projects as well. So I kind of had that same little umbrella um, that I've begun, and I've done that. Um, Star Delera uh, and uh, Amy Snowden, and um, a little bit with Renee Santos. Renee is more uh, she's she she kind of has her own stuff all together already. But for there are people who kind of just need to, uh, to get up to speed, and that's that's where I started my company and where all this kind of came from. So I have that as well. If you want to put that out there. <laughs> No, 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 definitely. I mean, as I said, this is your sounding board. And uh, when I say, when, when we're definitely ready to put the blog together in terms of the fan stop, um, I still have to come up, we still have to come up with a name, I still have to design the page and everything like I do. But um, as soon as that comes up, everything that you want out there to people, if not just for the fans to know what's going on, but also to catch the eye of artists that you might want, to bring into you to your um, company and stuff like that. You are it's your page. You're welcome to put anything up. I, I, of, of course, as long as it's not illegal. <laughs> 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 you know, um, yeah. That's so. That's what. That's the deal I'm going to be making with everybody. Really so, um, yeah. So it will also be you can put your whether you're trying to garner up financing, so you're Indigo or Indiegogo or whether it is we uh, with whoever. Um, yeah. That's going to be on each person's page, right? Yeah. I kind of um, feel like I kind of feel like the company that I started, I, the CMC Exteriors, is a a little bit like the fuel for the bigger projects. So a lot of the photo shoots and things at, that Bianca and I are doing, as far as projects, we're putting that money directly into the feature film. Um, so so it's kind of the engine, the engine that's 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 uh, starting up. Yeah, yeah, my fire and and the film's fire. <laughs> so, <laughs> but, well, yeah. So Bianca and I have also um, we decided that in October we have our Indiegogo set to um, do the fundraising through September seventh. So we've decided right right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go full speed ahead trying to find my Adrian in October. We are going to um, shoot some of the scenes with Adrian in Paris or in Paris. 
um, wherever wherever we can get out there so that we can get a trailer together and uh, a trailer or a teaser so that we can put that out there as well. So so keep that in mind. That, that'll be coming in October. Possibly we'll be shooting that the second week of October. So from from now until then I'll be I'll be full steam ahead with my Adrian trying to find her and then and then trying to find my Emily after that. But most important is Adrian for right now. So keep that on keep that on your mind too for October. But no problem. As I said, by obviously by that time, I'm thinking about uh, um, basically I'm giving myself uh, a week, a week and a half to get the whole blog up, and mm -hmm. uh, so that by that time, all you have to do is send me an email, and I'll keep posting and updating the page. And uh, so that's basically it. Once once I uh, once I get um, the notice from you for anything at all, I'll just up keep updating the pages because as I said, it will be a directory for not only you but for the fans out there and it'll be a great way for for people to really look forward to the film yeah and to help with the film a lot happening because i just signed on um a official director of photography my local local lighting guru todd jewel and then i'm still um in talking with a cinematographer so there's a, still a lot going on but it's all you know behind the scenes stuff but october is definitely the time where we're gonna we're gonna get some some footage out to to the fans. <laughs> Good. Um, well, I know you you said that um, you all have been friends uh, uh, for a very long time, but how did you all meet on a, uh, if you want to share with us, on a personal level or on a, a professional level? Mm -hmm. One or the other, which one came first? Bianca and I? Yes, 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 sorry. Oh, actually, um, she was a customer at my Starbucks that I used to work at. And so I kind of knew her from there. And I had gone out um, with a friend of mine. We, I went out to a, a club with him. And he, as gay men do, totally ditched me within the first five minutes of the club. <laughs> they all do it. They all do it. He was, yeah. So he was totally gone. I didn't know anybody at this club. And there was this really drunk girl that was throwing $20 bills at me. And she was like, come home with me. I have I have all this money. And she was throwing money at me. People, people are mad that I didn't take the money. I kept giving it back to her. Um, so I was, like, looking around for anyone to save me. And I saw Bianca on the other side of the room. And I was like, oh, my gosh, there's my girlfriend. <laughs> so, and Bianca's straight. But, um... Uh, but so I like went to the other side of the room and I was like, oh my gosh, Bianca, like this girl, she keeps throwing money at me. Just pretend like you're my girlfriend. So she was my girlfriend for the rest of the night. And that's how we officially like became friends. And we've been pretty much hanging out. We've been hanging out since then. And, and yeah, and then when I started doing, um, I had talked to her. I, I had this um, idea. I had this amazing kind of epic idea that started, that snowballed all the rest of my ideas from then, and I did a photo series based on my favorite book, which is called uh, The Tropic of Cancer by Henry Miller, and um, so I had this amazing idea, and I was talking to Bianca about it. She's like, you know, I do, like, makeup and art, art styling and things like that, and I was like, really? She's like, if you ever do a project, let me know. So I, I cast it, uh, uh, my Hillary, who is in uh, the poster uh, for uh, Sick Um and uh, I actually went up to, I, I, I cast Henry Miller as a, as a black woman. Um, so I went up to this like local go-go dancer bartender, Mila, and was like, hey, I'm doing this project, do you want to be in it? And she said, yeah. So three days later, called Bianca, like, hey, we're going to do this Tropic Panther thing, let's get started. And from then, that's where we started doing all the photo shoots. And it's, and it's just built and built and built from, from there. And that was possibly like four months ago. So we've come a long way in four months as far as our as far as far our art adventures together. Yes, I would say. <laughs> um, and, and, we, and we just talked yesterday um, about an idea, and I haven't, um, I was going to, I did the Tropic of Cancer shoot, and it's totally completed now. The photos are absolutely amazing, um, and I haven't done, I was going to create an event around it, but then when I started this movie, I kind of let that go, so uh, we decided yesterday that we are going to have my Tropic of Cancer project do a cameo in the movie, um, as, and you'll have to look for it, as, as Adrian's uh, first, uh, one of the first scenes is a gallery show um, of Adrian's work, and that work will be my, my, my tro Tropic of Cancer shoot, so you have to keep your eyes out for that, too. Oh, because I was now going to ask if you have a platform 
for um, all your adventures and where do you jump off from from that if people are interested because as you would have